first thing that you want to do is I'm finding don't touch the throttle. You want to touch it so bad and it just caused me to flood the engine. That's why I'm kicking it a hundred times. So if you have to even move your hand over here, some people are doing that so that they didn't accidentally while kicking uh, operate the accelerator pump. So uh, as long as the carburetor is full of fuel, you shouldn't have to turn your gas valve on. You should. You can see here I got in a little auxiliary tank, but I had no issues with going ahead and turning the fuel on because I have my carburetor is good to go. Uh, you got two little knobs here you're going to see. This is the choke, the black one, or fuel enrichener would be the proper term. You're going to go ahead and pull that. Leave this one in. There's no, if you have to do them both, there's something wrong with the carburetor. If your combination requires both, once again, there's something going on with your carb. So you pull the choke. We'll get to this one later. And then we're going to go around. And I just wanted to prove that this is a completely cold engine. It's been sitting all day. You can see here. I mean, room temperature. Kick it until I feel it get hard. Let it re-ratchet. And now... I want to prove here that this was a, a cold engine that I'm going to get to full temp to show you that when tuned right uh, and using the procedures outlined in the manual and, and common to uh, be successful on forums, this works great. Check it out. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.